Episode 62 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino. Let's go. It's been a while since the last update. I was away for a festival last week, so let's just take a look at the matches last week for a start. In the league, we were facing a tough task away to Berlin United, and it wasn't made any easier by the fact that we had two early injuries in this game. Two very important players to us, Kotatko and Francioni, got injured, so we lost two goals to nothing. Let's just take a look at the ratings and the horrible snow pitch here at Berlin United. It was a fair loss, and we couldn't really do much with a weakened midfield early on in this match. So. We couldn't really match Berlin United, mostly because of the strong midfield and the two injuries. So a 2-0 defeat this time around. So we had to face the fact that we lost an important game. In the league table, that leaves us at fifth, and we only have five points after four games. We really need a win in the next match against BKS Union Belize. Our run in the Copa Sesta came to an end as well as we lost 5 goals to nothing against Terratos. And if you look at the ratings, you'll see clearly why. This is the end ratings. Let's just have a look at the start ratings in this one. And you can see that we were beaten in all but one sector in this match. A very big midfield advantage for the away side here. So fair enough that we lost this one. Now we can focus on training in the weekly international friendlies against the primary team in Denmark. It's time for this week's scouts call, and let's see if we have some glorious new talent coming our way this week. Bolini, 16 years old. Ah, he's too old. Risaliti is 16 years old. He'll remain with inadequate scoring. Passable defending. He actually sounds interesting, but he's too old, and we cannot gamble on the age. Okay, 16 years old. Nah. He's right now at an inadequate scoring. Oh, okay, let's see if Mito Semperini is uh, quite young, hopefully. Oh, he's he's not. All right, that's a little disappointing, but uh, that's just, that's the way it goes. In this week's training, we had two relevant pops to the whole cycle plan. Daniel Reeling, popping from excellent to formidable, and Antri Lemity from inadequate to pass. We are looking to move both these players on at this point in order to realize some value and to start finding new trainees for the cycle program. Let's just take a look at the planner and see that in eight weeks, we will swap to playmaking for season. I'm looking forward to this because at that point, we'll be able to start trying out doing some skill trades in order to gain some extra money for our cycle and it will be crucial for us to make as much as possible during the season of playmaking training for sure i can't wait to get started with this process i've been practicing this exercise with my third team in denmark but i'm really looking forward to trying it out for real you could say sunday evening we played against bks union police let's take a look at the highlights from the match an opportunity for bks union police Oh, it's an on goal. No, actually, Teo Giro Lomoni steals the ball. And it's 1 0. For Inter Calvahel. Good start. Excellent start, even. Penalty for BKS. Saman Golami. Equalizes. Teo Giro Lomoni scores after attack on the right. 32 minutes into the game. Jakub Keba on the counter attack and it's 3 1 for Calvario now. Brilliant. Into Calvario. And it's a goal. Leos Lotka. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Get some momentum now. Now it's 5 1. Daniel Ruling for Inter Kelbehewe. And it's another right attack. We are really lucky with the chance distribution in this one. They are clawing one back. Union Belize. Casio Selva. A very nice match for us in this one. Pretty lucky to hit the right side attack so often in this game and we ended up winning 5 goals to 2. Perfect match here really. No injuries and it's been a while since we've been this lucky in the injury department. Very nice to see a good win here. Let's just take a look at the league table 
And as you can see, we are up now to fourth, hoping to go on an actual run this time, winning more than just one game at a time. We're playing away to San Gios do Calcio in the next round. Hopefully we can get three points there. Let's just take a look at their performance against Giannis Lancia in the last round and see what we'll have to overcome in the next round. So weak midfield, a little stronger defense, especially in the central department and not really much of an attack to look for. So hopefully, I mean, I really hope that we can uh, get another three points in the next round, round six that is. Thank you so much for watching this week. I'll see you guys soon and I hope you have a great week in Hattrick.